Hi, I'm Rick Dancer. And I'm Kathy Dancer. And welcome to Real Adventure. bike ride today to the Steamboat Inn. Kathy called, they're serving lunch, um, so we're starting, instead of starting, we want a 70 mile ride. We're moving back on Buckhorn Road about seven miles, so we'll get about 70 miles by the end of the day. Show you something really cool. Look at this house behind us. Doesn't that look like like Mid America? It's like it reminds me of growing up. Um, don't you, follow those directions. Don't follow our directions. We went way out of the way. So now we're going to go two miles back, get on 138, and then we're going to head up to Steamboat. All right, so far we're not very impressed with Highway 138. Lots of gravel on the side of the road and lots of cars. It's pretty highway like. 17 more miles. Till the steamboat in. So this may not end up on our best rides of our life <laughs> we'll list, see. but we're gonna go. <laughs> That's the adventure! Miles. Honey's not feeling good. got some kind of pain in her stomach, like gallbladder or something pain. And we don't know how far we are from Steamboat. And then we have to, the worst part is we have to ride back on that road with no shoulder back to wherever it is we're going. Um, so we're trying to figure out what we're gonna do. We, uh, we met the owners of the Steamboat Inn, and they're brand new owners, just like less than a month, and they, they're from Elmira. Yeah, I just This wanted. is Steamboat Lodge, and we have eight cabins and two suites. Then up Steamboat Creek, there are five two-story cottages, and across the river, there's three houses and a duplex right on the camp water. Okay, so you guys are who? We are the Woodwards. Travis. And Melinda. <laughs> You're from Elmira. We're from, from Elmira. Elmira. And now we own the Steamboat Inn mm -hmm. in Idlewild Park. So when did you buy this? May 1st. Why? <laughs> you didn't have enough to do? Yeah. No. We, we wanted didn't... to do something for ourselves and a fishing lodge fit our skills and our lifestyle. So Kathy laid out in the back and feels better. So we're going to try to ride down and finish our bike ride and do our thing. We met some really nice people in here. We did, we met some super nice people in and here. They are, said they'll be looking for us in case we're on the side of the road on the yeah. way down. This is the Tioga Bridge and it connects a trail on the other side. So you're feeling a little bit better. That was weird. It was weird. I've never had that happen, so I don't know what it is. So that's kind of weird. So we were, but it was so nice because we had a whole bunch of people on the, at the restaurant up there, even the new owners willing to put our stuff up in their truck and bring us down. But we're kind of diehards sometimes. And since she felt better, we decided we'd do it. It's just kind of who we are. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Hope we make it back. And if we're really super honest, and this is called Get Real, 
we would not do that again. <laughs> would we? But the good thing that we did find out was there we would go back and there's some cool hikes and yeah. things off, right off that Umqua Highway. That it was kind of a crappy day. Not a great ride. Kathy got sick. The way people treated us, the owners, the new owners of the Steamboat Inn, our waitress, all of them were willing to put our bikes in their trucks and bring us back to our car. You can make or break someone's day, so what could have been a really horrible memory will now someday be something we'll remember, right, hon? Definitely, yeah. So, again, we won't be doing the ride, but we will be coming back because it's a beautiful part of Oregon that needs to be hiked and driven in a car, not on a bike. All right, that's it for this adventure.